What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to Google Licious for all the Google goodness that we can pack inside of a show. All right, let's get to it, and we're going to start things off with some science and a partnership between MIT and Google's Boston Dynamics, who are working on developing shape shifting robots. Now, you might recall that Google bought Boston Dynamics in 2013, who is known for some of their robotic prototypes like the 29 mile per hour running cheetah and the pet man. Amazing and scary at the same time. Now, MIT and Google are now developing the next gen shape shifting robots built from materials like wax and foam that can change shape when heated and squish or contort through small spaces. It's really cool stuff, and don't worry, we're not at T1000 liquid metal designs yet. Also, a report by BBC News says Nvidia is working on a new Android based gaming platform running PC quality games and powered by their new Tegra 1 processor and will also be able to stream games to televisions with an HDMI out port and a controller accessory. The new device will also be able to play mobile games on the go and Android apps similar to their Shield system. Nvidia also recently had a device referred to as the Shield tablet pass through the global certification form and this could be a combination tablet and controller setup that the BBC is talking about. And Google is making moves to prep some of its other platforms to adopt their new material design UI they're pushing for with Android L, which is still unnamed and could be anything from lemon to lollipop or lasagna. Yes, lasagna. You can see in some of these comparison shots with the pre-release of the Google Play Store how content is being pushed to the forefront compared to the current design, giving this a stripped down and much more cleaner look and feel with an emphasis on hero images as well. They're also incorporating a similar material design with bolder colors and a simplified look and feel with Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides as well. Now, Android Wear is still trying to figure itself out and it's way ahead of the competition right now as more developers jump on board. So if you own an Android Wear smartwatch, you guys should check out Wear Mini Launcher that brings an application drawer to easily access the apps you want to use. Wear is primarily made to be voice controlled, but that doesn't mean you want to talk to your wrist all the time. So check it out on the Play Store, it's free and worth trying out. Also, still sticking with apps on wearables, this one's pretty cool for Glass. The app is called My Radar Weather Radar, and you can call it up by saying, OK Glass, show the weather, and you'll see an animated radar screen based on your location. Kind of fun, kind of cool, and they have the full apps for Android and iOS already. And Samsung is looking to make their S Pen even better for the next note. A recent patent describes a Samsung stylus working on ultrasound waves. Now, sensors on the corner of a device like a phone or tablet would be able to detect the ultrasound waves the stylus produces and calculate its position based on the distance from the sensors. The main benefit? This would help to lower the cost of the digitizer, potentially allow it to be thinner, and also reduce some of the potential costs as well. And according to a report from Korean site ET News, Samsung is preparing to launch an all-metal device as early as next month called the Galaxy Alpha. It's expected to be marketed as a premium smartphone made of metal with its main goal of countering Apple's upcoming iPhone. Now, it would go a long ways to really squash one of the biggest complaints about Samsung's phones that it isn't metal, but it hasn't hurt their sales because of its plastic body. All right, I'm going to go on a little vacation, so we'll be gone for a couple weeks, but that doesn't mean we're going to be gone for good. That's going to do it for this week's show. Just email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tongan. Maybe I'll write to you from a beach. I really won't. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time for some more of that Google Licious. Google Licious.